many ways, the Betas are your typical fraternity guys. They watch sports, they do homework, and they goof off. But in other ways, actually, one huge other way, they are very, very different. These fraternity brothers are working to end sexual violence against women. It's an unusual conversation for a group of fraternity guys to lead, but it's exactly what the Beta Theta Pies are talking about with students at the University of Utah. They believe men need to do more to end this problem. Going where few fraternities have gone before, actually advocating for the prevention of sexual assault and rape. The numbers on college campuses across the country keep going up, and the issue is never far from the headlines. It all started when they were looking for a philanthropy. A former beta works for the Rape Recovery Center, so they decided to make that their cause. So the betas got together with the Rape Recovery Center and began having these sexual assault farms. This is actually one of them. Students are able to talk with specialists and they say it's really making a difference. At a time when so many students at the U are cramming for finals, these students packed an auditorium to talk about topics that are more commonly whispered. The fraternity has teamed up with the Rape Recovery Center, Center for Student Wellness, and other groups to boost awareness encourage all to take ownership in what is a large, often unspoken problem. The executive director of the Rape Recovery Center, Holly Mullen, agrees. When we've talked about it informally, we've all sort of said, why hasn't this happened before? Now that it is happening, Holly says they're working to figure out how they can keep the momentum going. What could we do to emphasize um, and to work on prevention that males need to step up in the battle against sexual violence. Holly admits it's rare to see a group of young men of fraternity brothers on the front lines of this battle. As a group of fraternity guys, we are dispelling the usual stereotypes of fraternities and taking a stand against a problem that we really believe is important. The Beta Theta Pi fraternity held a forum on campus. It's another one. The topic this time, forensics and law enforcement after an assault happens. The forum today featured Julie Valentine, an assistant professor at Brigham Young University, who discussed sexual assault, rape kits, and just how little is done to prosecute this crime. The forum also touched on male sexual assault, something not often heard of, but that does exist. 16% of males have experienced sexual violence. Today, they discussed how to change attitudes and beliefs before and after sexual assault happens and the Beta Theta Pi fraternity hopes to help in that process. And we have another recipient of my ISFIRE grant here today. One of the things that really caught your eye was their focus on bystander intervention and how important that is. Bystander intervention is um, empowering bystanders to intervene when they see either a dangerous situation or a situation that might be uncomfortable, especially within uh, a university setting or within a Greek system. Um, to have men or males who are able to step up. That's what our society really needs to start to make a positive movement in the area of sexual assault. I loved hearing your message. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. My name is Carter Bruett, and I'm a member of Beta Theta Pi. My name is Saeed Chihab, and I'm a member of Beta Theta Pi. My name is Stephen Hablick, and I'm a member of Beta Theta Pi. I support the Recovery Center because one in six men and one in three women will be sexually assaulted in their lifetime, and that's a statistic that needs to change. I see it as not only an issue for women, but also for men too. It's something that everyone should know about, and it's something that uh, is a serious cultural problem. Together, we can make a difference in our community. Together, we can make a difference in our community. Together, we can make a difference in our community. Please start.